today i am going to unbox and will give you a complete review about precision model works hoscl indian railways wdm2 diesel loco right now Hello and welcome to your channel HO Trainers and Dioramas. I am Ashim and you are watching My Model Railroad. Friends, today's episode is going to be a very very special episode because today I am going to unbox and will give you a complete review regarding the Precision Model Works Indian Railways HO Scale WDM2 locomotive. Yes, I I am waiting for a long time for this loco and now they shipped it and i received it and today i am going to unbox that particular thing my dream loco wdm2 and friends i am giving the entire link of their site at the description of this video if you want you just go there and you can click on that uh, link and you can just go towards their site and you can order their locomotives and rolling stocks what they are producing now and yes they are producing typically indian railways locomotives and rolling stocks and yes obviously it's a very good news for our indian railroader though there are many people many hobbyists and many railroaders those who are making uh, locomotives and they are uh, giving or selling them but this is the first time in india when a company is going to make completely indian railways locomotives and rolling stocks and will sell them in a reasonable price so friends let's go towards my bench and i will unbox my dream loco and i will give you the entire review that what they have made what they uh, claiming and what they uh, sent to me and what are the pros and cons of the locomotive and yes don't skip to this video watch completely because from the beginning to the very last i will describe everything of that particular locomotive of pmw or precision model works but before that if you are first time in my channel please subscribe my channel and push the bell icon on so that when i will upload another new video you will get the fastest notification so friends let's go okay friends now let's cut the sides of the seal of the parcel and then i will uh, gently open the box you can see that they shipped it with uh, dtdc premium as i spoke them so they shipped it with dtdc premium and now i have to gently open the box oh hoo, hoo. this is the packing they made a nice box at the top of the box you can see that it's a uh, pmw precision model works h or scale wdm2 kgm 1776 dcc ready weathered model but don't think that weathering is their routine job actually i requested them specially and i have paid for it and so they weathered the loco let me see that how it's looking okay friends so this is the top side of the box and in this side you can see that another photo of wdm2 and in this side there are three barcodes i think for facebook account their facebook account instagram accounts and uh, pmw sites and there are other detailings regarding their address and everything and uh, friends now it is time to open the box i am eagerly waiting for that particular moment and at last i am going to open the box i am very excited let me open it from the lower side and i think yes there are a few papers also so let's me check what are they first of all okay this is a letter from them dear ashim thank you for believing in us we are proud to present you uh, that diesel locomotive prototype wdm2 and thanks pmw for this nice letter and now here is the kgm wdm2 1776 i think there are all the details regarding their locomotive and a small history of the locomotive kgm wdm2 and you here you can see 
this uh, model loco is provided with dcc 8 pin interface powerful cordless motor kadi knuckle coupler directional headlight and cab interior with crew figures okay that's nice one okay and this is i think yes it's the invoice of my product okay friends now let's open the casing let me gently open the first layer this is second layer and this is the loco wow it's looking super very nice they colored and weathered friends but one thing i should say before i start about the details of this loco i am little bit unsatisfied with their packaging quality actually i think they made a mistake a big mistake here actually they uh, did the opposite thing that means when you were uh, filling up the sides of the box with soft foam and you were just make made a casing with some uh, hard sunboard there is a big chance of the uh, breaking of the de tiny detailings of the loco during shipment during jerking or friction with the solid to solid surface and it is little bit loose you can see so it is not uh, um, recommended that uh, they should change the style of the packing uh, and I, I am really now a little bit afraid and I am uh, just crossing my finger so that the any parts of this loco uh, must be in a perfect condition uh, rather I will recommend uh, some soft foam like uh, this type of soft foam you can use any personnel of uh, PMWB is watching this video if watching please do something regarding this okay friends now I am crossed my finger and let's open all the things and then I will show you the loco and how I will open it okay let me open it from the side I am in little bit doubt that from where I should pull the everything okay this is another uh, small soft foam layer and there is another one I think yes it's another one and okay yes and um, at the base there is also another soft foam and from where I should pull it out uh, this is the this is the site I, I should pull it out from here okay <laughs> yes okay this is the loco just on a hard mount board shell and let me pull it out from here gently I have to pull it out okay uh, it looks very nice and thank God there is nothing broken you can see it's lying on a soft foam piece like this soft foam block and yes there is nothing broken I am really thankful to God but please BMW next time when you ship anything to anybody just improve your uh, packaging system and now let's see oh, wow it looks so realistic and they weathered it very nice I asked them uh, not for heavy weathering and you can see the result what a nice loco they have made and friends let's go I will start my entire detail sharing and first of all I will start it with the wet okay friends let's wet the loco first of all I have to measure the weight it's zero and let me put the loco on the weighing machine I think okay and that's not bad it's 274 grams that's been near about 300 grams and it's pretty good and I hope very soon the experts of PMW will achieve another 100 grams that means 300 plus 100 400 grams will make the loco a demon because you all know that much more weight means much more good frictional power okay friends so this 275 weight is not bad at all it is also a very good weight and I am very happy with the weight for now let's start discussing about the detailings of this loco
And as you know, the Indian Railways Locomotive Class WDM2 is a class of diesel electric locomotive that was developed in 1962 by American Locomotive Company or ALCO for Indian Railways. The model name was TANS, that means W for broad gauge and D for uh, diesel and M for mixed traffic engine and two for the second generation and this locomotive entered service in 1962 I think yes and so friends now let's go towards the detailings of this loco and I will discuss about all the detailings PMW made let's start uh, let's start from the front though this type of locos are both side runner but from the cab side we call it the front and here at the front uh, you, you got a nicely detailed three uh, working headlight, three working LED headlight and a non-functional emergency light and then you got the KGM Southwestern Railways typical Indian logo and all other detailing that means the front vent and the base detailed base and then you got the Kadi knuckle coupler and then you got the two buffers, detailed buffer, the detailed emmer pipe. You can see the detailed emmer pipe is here. And you got the decals of WDM2 and 1776 is here. You can see this is and a very good and nice detailed cow catcher is here. Okay, this is the front view and there are two also hole actually I don't know the name of these two portholes but there they I, I saw them and now go towards the grab rails a realistic grab rail they made and all the handrails you can see from the front it's it's super nice they made it very good and at the back also you got the same thing that means uh, three functional uh, LED headlights that's in one, two, and three, and again, uh, emergency light. And then the other things, the same, that means the knuckle coupler, the emmer pipe, and the cow catcher, buffer, and the decals, everything they made nicely. And the logo too. So the front and back, they're uh, looking uh, perfect. And now at the top, you can see the two horn, two tiny horns they made, and they're just accurate as it is. And friends, uh, let's go towards the uh, side. At the side, that means from the cab side. You can see the cab side. Uh, this is the cab, Indian locomotives cab. And from here, you can see the battery shade area and the top shade and the window. And uh, here you can get the front window panel from where the loco pilots can watch the trackway and there is another thing a detailed loco pilot in perfect indian railways uniform and uh, there is a good thing a very clever thing pnw made when you uh, are running this loco from this side you will see that the loco pilot is facing this side and uh, when you are running the loco from the opposite side you can see that the loco pilot is facing this side that will uh, create a realistic gesture for this loco okay now come towards the other details here you can see the decal of Walter 1776 and again all the grab rails and hell rails are here too and all the panel doors and vanes for the rectifiers or inverters or the air intakes or the auxiliary uh, alternators or the main alternators all the things they made and the 1776 recal with the typical sign of Indian Railways and here you can see the diesel engine area and the vanes for the turbocharger and at the top the radiator fan area the radiator fans rains and all the other things that been the sandbox area and they made a detailed warning section here very nicely small decal about the danger and all other things they made perfectly like the side grab rails and the uh, uh, walking porch everything they made i am just amazed that each and every tiny detail they covered and in this side you can see the same things all the panel doors and the vents for all these things 
and again the horns and the smoke stack everything on the top side okay friends let's go towards the wheel or the boggy sector and at the lower portion of the locomotive you can see the coco wheel arrangement six wheel arrangement and you can see that the boggy frame is here and then you can uh, see the equalizer beam perfectly placed equalizer beam they made and uh, the primary springs also i mean everything each and every detailing they covered perfectly even you can see the brake cylinders are also there that means if you look carefully into the inner side of the loco sorry the boggy you can see all the pipings and everything the perfectly made cylinder the staircase and the grab rails they made everything perfect and i am really amazed with their perfection their uh, passion to create something perfect and in this side this wheel arrangement is also same with the same uh, uh, boggy frames and all other things but one thing i must say that it's a super and hyper realistic prototype of wdm2 and it is time for the test run but friends before test run i have a small job you know that this locomotive is a dcc ready locomotive and my layout is a complete dcc layout so what i will do i will install a dcc decoder in it i have a dcc decoder with sound in stock so i will install it into this loco and then i will show you the exact result that means i will test run it with the sound and uh, this is my digitrax dcc sound decoder let me install it into this loco then i will come back and it will take some time so i am not going to linger this video anymore for this installation video so friends let's me do this job fast and friends i have already installed the digitrax dcc decoder with sound let's check and test run the loco with sound first of all uh, i will start the loco and now it is time for the lights let's on the lights My god the lights are so bright it's very nice and now it is time for the bell and function 3 or f3 for the single horn let's listen the horn Oh my god the horn is superb it's very nice and there are also many other functions in this uh, digitrax sound decoder but it is time to run my wdm2 so let's start run it And now run the loco backwards. It's time for backward run. And now it is time to measure the pulling capacity of the loco. And for that, I have uh, attached. 19 various types of wagons and flat cars with this locomotive and please don't joke on me that why i am uh, attaching these western wagons and flat cars with this indian locomotive it's just a test run i just want to watch the pulling capacity of this loco so let's start the loco That's amazing. You can see 
the loco is pulling 19 wagons and a brake van and it's running smoothly i am just just now become fan of this loco and thanks pmw for making this type of superb and demon like locomotive only i can say that it's a tiny demon of my modern railroad Okay friends, in a short, I can say that PMW made a very nice locomotive and it's highly detailed and obviously it's full of power and I am very much impressed with their art of work. Hope very soon PMW will produce many other Indian diesel locos, electrical locos and obviously they must and must produce historical Indian steam locos. And I wish their every success. I wish very soon they will be a remarkable company for Indian model railroading. And that is enough for today friends. Very soon I am coming with another new episode. Till then have a good day. Stay on the track. Bye bye.